There comes a time in every man's life where he walks through the path and it comes to a point where he's got to evaluate himself. He's got to look himself in the mirror and he's got to understand do I have what it takes to succeed to this day? Now Rick, you and I, well you and I have been through this road a long time. You know the path of destruction I put. You know the path of destruction that you've put and we put together. And I know that we have our differences. All my titles, all my wins, all my accomplishments in the past, they don't matter now. What matters is this moment. You and I, Rick. Now, look at me. Look at me, Rick. We're brothers. I still hold on to that. But today, when I go out out there and I see you face to face, when you look into my eyes, in there, in front of all those people, you're still going to see your brother. I'm still going to see my brother. But one of us is going to have to walk out. This is going to be my moment. My defining moment, Rick. At the end of the day, you're still my brother. You know, my daddy used to tell me growing up, he would say, son, don't go believe in fairy tales. And I asked him, why, daddy, why? And he would tell me, because, boy, they never were true. Now, the last time I was there with Rick, we laid it all on the line, broken bones, blood, sweat, all out there for millions to see, nights in the hospital afterwards. But also, it gave my respect. Now I find myself in a strange predicament and how life turns and twists. I have the circumstance of me and Rick getting back together. If you were asked me before, I would tell you straight up, you and Rick are going to get back together after that. Now I'd say, don't go believe in fairy tales. But now, united against one enemy, you can start believing in fairy tales. Daddy, you're wrong. They're true. I feel as if I've done this before. You see, the first time, Rick, when you spiked me, when you spiked me with that chair across my face, I thought it was a mistake. Mistakes do happen out there, after all. But now, I find myself asking the same question. We're in the same predicament. History is repeating itself. Is this a case of deja vu? I don't know. Everyone keeps asking me, everyone tells me, Orrin tells me, don't trust Rick. Because the second time wasn't a mistake. The second time, there was intent. Now I'm wondering if the first time, there was intent. So you and I, Rick, we do have a bumpy road. I thought I would come back to the path with you, brother. But it seems like... Those bumps are still there. I still remember the time you spiked me. The scars are still there when you spiked me. That imprint is still there when you spiked me. When you come see me again, Rick, don't tell me that it was a mistake. Tell me to my face if it was intent. Because if you lie to me, brother, if you lie to me, There's going to be intent with my actions. And best believe, Rick, there will be no mistake.
There's a few times in this business when a man gets made. Paris, France, 1985. La Grande, La Lute. That's the night where Dirk Byrne earned a respect in this industry. And that was the night I shook your hand, Magnum, and you left with my respect. But now, years later, you come into my territory. You come in to the WSC. And you want to challenge me? See, that tells me something, Magnum. That tells me that night in Paris, even though you won, you actually lost. Uh, you could have challenged anyone. You could have challenged the world champion. I know he's free. But no. You want Dirk Byrne. But let me tell you something, Magnum. I'm always up for a fight. I'm always up to going into that ring. But I'm not the same young lad I was back then. No. I'm meaner. I'm better. And Magnum. I'm more dangerous. Nothing in this world comes without a price, Magnum. That's one thing I learned after that night. There was a price I had to pay to earn the respect and be made. Now you're going to find that out. And you're going to find out how dangerous I am. Will you have my respect? Will I still have yours? I guess we'll find out. But hey, it's like what old Bogey says. We'll always have Paris. Hi, I'm professional wrestler and WSC superstar Dirk Burton. Now what does old Dirk Burton do when he feels hungry, going from city to city, winning titles? Well, I grab me a fitty fish. That's right. A Fiddy Fish Meal Replacement Bar, where the only ingredient is fish. Tuna, salmon, mackerel, cod, even rainbow trout. Just one bite. And old Dirk Burton is good to deliver the Burton Hammer. So when old Dirk Burton gets hungry and he's about to go into that ring, I grab myself a fitty fish. It's great. Dirk Burton recommends it. You know, it seems like I haven't been myself lately. <laughs> well, that's because you haven't, Dirk. You haven't. Ever since you got a power drive into that ring, you haven't been yourself, pal. And who the hell are you? <laughs> who the hell am I? Well, I'm you, Dirk. But I'm the much better version of you. I'm the one who understands reason and logic than diving headfirst into violence. Listen here, pal. Diving headfirst into violence is what Dirk Burton does best. That's what I do. Oh, really? Where has it gone to you? Hmm? You lost your friendship with Rick? You got a steel chair to your head. You're still feeling the scars. And where are you in the rankings of the WSC? You might not even get an opportunity for those tag titles. How the hell do you know that? <laughs> because I'm you. But I can help you. I can get you further. I can get you to climb up to the mountaintop. And I can guarantee those world titles. You, you can do all that? Of course I can, Dirk. You just have to let me be in control and let me take over. Listen, pal. I want those titles. But if you can do all that, you best not be fooling me. <laughs> fool you? I would never fool you, Dirk. Because if I were to fool you, that would fool me. Think about it. Okay, what are we going to do? 
The simple Dirk. All you have to do is let me be. Who done it? Who done it? Now most of y'all don't know. This is the first title that old Dirk Burton has ever won in his career. All the nights, all the cities, all the pain, the injuries. Not seeing my family. Not seeing my wife. My kids. It was all worth it for this. <laughs> and I vow, with this WSC television title, to defend it with honor and respect the only way Dirk Burton can. <laughs> so on this day, when you ask, who took the old champ down? Who's the new world television champion? Who's the new crown in WSC? We tell them, who done it? Dirk Burton done it. I did it. <laughs> oh, Dirk, old buddy. I told you. All you have to do is let me in. <laughs>